בזכותכם, תודה לכם. עוד מתנשאים לארץ. תודה. אנחנו ממשיכים עד הסוף, עד הניצחון. שום דבר לא יעצור אותנו. כי אם חיזבאללה יבחר לפתוח במלחמה כוללת, אז הוא במו ידיו יהפוך את ביירות ואת דרום לבנון, לא רחוק מכאן, לעזה. ולחניונס. אומר לי אותו הדבר, הגשש חלק. ובכן, לכם, לוחמי צה"ל, ולכם, המשפחות הדואבות וקרובי החטופים, אני אומר גם מעל הבמה הזאת, אנחנו לא עוצרים ולא נעצור עד לניצחון, כי אין לנו ארץ אחרת ואין לנו דרך אחרת. חמאס בא לעקור אותנו, אנחנו נעקור אותו. The tragedy that I am describing is one that we've seen before. We literally could be having this conversation 20 years ago. Targeted ethnic violence, the burning of villages, mass murder, and fleeing civilian. That was Darfur two decades ago. As well, the parties should realize that we have a mandate. But if anybody in the party... whether it's the head of the RSF or the head of the SAF or whether it's anybody down the chain of command. Um, even at this late stage, whatever has happened, it's not too late to start cooperating with, the, with my office. It's not too late to start giving information. It's too late to those that are dead. There's some kind of task force um, similar to what was created for Ukraine. The international community needs to speak with one voice and have a unique coherent, unified position vis-à-vis -vis this conflict. We've had a lot of them. You know, getting, uh, I think getting Paul with Sud's vagina out was pretty we, great. I mean, we've now had dozens of cases where following our trial monitoring and advocacy work, 
um, someone who should never have been sent to prison has been released and had charges dropped against them. So that means a lot to us. It's a lot of yeah. the time it's journalists. It can be an LGBT person who's prosecuted for being gay. Um, yeah. Women being prosecuted for standing up for women's rights. Mr. Clooney, Mr. Clooney. What about the concert? Let's go. What about the concert? Okay, keep walking. <laughs>